Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking on today's video. I have something pretty fun and exciting to share with you guys. I did a little bit of shopping recently. Um, I have been extra busy at work and now that I am owning my own business and running my own show, being more busy means I have more clients and a little bit more income. Now, of course, the majority of my um, income is being reinvested into the business, hiring more people, making sure things are running efficiently, giving my existing clients a better service. But once in a while, it is always good to reward yourself for your hard work because otherwise um, you succumb to burnout. And that is a really real thing, guys. If you are overworking yourselves, you will burn out. You'll stop caring about life. You'll stop enjoying life. And then it's just a really big downhill slip from there. I don't have a lot of things to show you guys today, just about three or four items, um, but I really wanted to share it with you guys anyway because it's something that's really exciting to me and I really love sharing this stuff with you guys. If you enjoy this kind of uh, video, please uh, give it a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button. So if you guys like this kind of video where we talk about luxury, fashion, everything like that, um, please hit that subscribe button and also give it a thumbs up. Um, I really love to talk to you guys about luxury and fashion. Um, it's something that I'm I'm actually really passionate about and that's kind of why I do these videos. I am a professional by day so I'm a lawyer by day and I feel like in that world it's very old school. Um, you don't really have um, much of a way to express yourself. For me this is really it's a really good way for me to have an outlet and and share with the world um, the stuff that I actually like. Um, yeah this is a really good way for me to express my personal unique individuality. Okay enough with the chit chat. So the first item I'm going to start with, which is uh, a little gift that my mum got me uh, when she came back from Italy. So she recently had a big holiday and she just got me this as a little kind of coming back present. Um, so this is the Terre de Mes Givre. Now this uh, is a perfume that I have wanted for a really long time and it's just such an incredible scent. I don't know how to really describe it, but it's just, it's amazing. It came out, I think, early, early last year. And when, when it came out, um, my essay at um, Hermes was like, I'm so sorry, we're all sold out, but I do have samples. And so I've kind of been using the samples um, just to get by until I can get my hands on the um, on the full, full bottle because um, when it was released, completely sold out. And it is such an incredible scent. I don't really know how to describe it. It's really woody. Oh, okay, I should actually just get the, the formal description of this. All right guys, so I have my phone. Let's see what it is. So Terre de Hermes Givre combines the vigor of citron and the incisive freshness of juniper berry with the power of timid pepper. The striking sensation of an icy breeze is juxtaposed with the tenderness of the woody mineral notes that characterize Terre de Hermes. It's refillable and sustainable. The bottle is composed of glass and aluminum, which is two fully recyclable materials. Um, yeah, so that's the other thing about it as well. It's refillable. So when you finish the bottle, you can just go back to Hermes and purchase the um, the refilling bottle instead of the uh, the full one. Um, and you get 125 mils. This is the 100 mils. Uh, this is what the bottle looks like. It's a very simple, basic design. You've got frosted glass on the back and the iconic H on the bottom, which is... Um, on all Hermes perfumes. It's incredible. I couldn't agree more with the description. Sometimes, you know, with uh, fragrance descriptions, it's not quite accurate, but this one is. It does have that um, kind of icy uh, rainforest uh, mixed feel to it. Um, the fragrance, it smells really good. So yes, they're like two, $300 a pop, but they can last me if I'm going out after work, 6, 7 p.m., going to dinner, 9 p.m. Um, it lasts. I don't even need to like do a refreshing spray. So this one, super, super excited that I finally add this to my collection. Okay. Now, the next thing on my list is this Chanel bag here. <laughs> well, it's a box really. So I purchased this because I'm looking to expand uh, my jewelry collection. So with my jewelry, I really like to have, um, you know, fine jewelry more than costume jewelry. So I'm looking at things with diamonds, with um, silver and gold, like real silver, real gold, um, not um, 
not gold coloured metal or silver coloured metal, which is what a lot of costume jewellery is. Um, so this is the box, you've got your little card. And I'm just really, really excited about this because I just think it's so cute. Um, and it's just not available anywhere um, because this piece is very, very special. Now it's not um, expensive. Oh, I should actually say, so this was a gift, but um, my mum paid, I think, $140. And she got this when she stopped over in Dubai. And she saved 60 bucks in Australia. It's like $200. Um, this is not like super expensive, but it is something that I really, really like. So this is the, oh, <laughs> let me just take it out of the pouch. And it is this gorgeous pearl and diamond studded Chanel logo necklace, I should say. So actually, let me just use the pouch as a backdrop. Here it is. So you can see how beautiful and gorgeous it is. That is a real pearl and in there, I'm not sure if the camera is focusing on it, but um, in the CC, it's silver, but also tiny, tiny little diamonds that are studded in there, um, that are put in there. And it just, in real life, it just has this amazing shine to it. Like it's got this incredible uh, sparkliness to it absolutely beautiful in person. So I picked this up for I think $695. It is so, so beautiful. Okay, um, so the other reason I wanted to get this is because I want to expand my jewelry collection. Like I said earlier, I have a lot of gold pieces. I've got a lot of gold jewelry. I do need to start getting more into silver and diamond jewelry um, because that's kind of where I'm lacking at the moment. Okay, so enough about that. That's my first two items. My third item, I'm gonna unbox this in a little bit, but I'm going to actually um, unbox this big box here. There's actually two things in here that I'm kind of excited about, um, I really, really like, and um, yeah, I will show you guys. <laughs> so in here, the first item is actually something that is perfect for work, perfect for going out. Um, and I will show you guys. <gasps> Ta-da! It is a um, button-up shirt from a brand called Ghani. Now this was only a few hundred dollars, I think this was like 280 or 320, and it's just, it's so nice and unique. Um, I have been looking for more clothes recently, and I don't really just like um, t-shirts, like t-shirts are great when you wanna be effortless, but also, um, I really like when clothing is unique and have like a certain twist to it. And so this I thought was amazing. So this is obviously color blocked contrast. You can see you've got white on one side and you've got this nice brown color on the other and the same on the back as well. Now, speaking of the back, you have this amazing button detail. Obviously you don't undo them. You can if you wanted to. I'm just checking it. Yes, you can undo them, but you wouldn't because it's the back of your shirt. Um, and then obviously it's buttoned, it's a button up shirt on the front as well. It's got a collar, which just means that I can wear it for work and it's really versatile. Um, and the attention to detail is amazing. So let me just get a little bit closer. Look at how the fabric has this amazing floral print on it. And the sleeves are this like padded fabric to it and it's just so amazing. It's got these big buttons and it's padded. Look how, look how big that cuff is. This cuff is huge. Like that is how small my wrist is compared to the cuff. Um, and look, it's got, it's gathered at the um, shoulder line here as well. Oh, maybe the dark fabric, you'll see it easier. It's gathered up here as well. So you can see here, it's like ruffled a little bit. Um, it's just amazing attention to detail and the fabric, feels so soft, it's like silk, but I don't think it is. Um, let me just check the label. Oh, it actually is. It's 60% silk. No wonder, it's got such a nice, smooth feel to it. It's such a gorgeous top. Um, I bought this on Net-A-Porter when it was on sale. 
and it's just amazing. I think this shirt originally was 500 bucks or 550 and I got it for about 320, so almost 50% off. So the collar will mean that I can wear it, um, you know, to work, I can wear it formally, um, I can always kind of undo a few buttons and like pop the collar and I can wear it a little casual as well. Um, and yeah, it's just such a versatile dress it up, dress it down, you know, what everyone loves. Um, and the buttons as well, it's like a tortoise shell detail to it, that contrast. I love this. Oof. Okay, so next thing on uh, in this box is another item that I have wanted for such a long time. So I love jeans. I think jeans are the savior of the lazy person. Like you can chuck on a pair of jeans and you will look put together, you know, and it's just awesome. Now I have been looking for a pair of high-waisted jeans that are flattering on the bum and the legs and the waist. You know, sometimes high-waisted jeans are not that flattering because the cut might not be right because everyone's body is unique. So I've been looking forever and I finally found it. And these are so incredible. They are the perfect color as well. Perfect for summer. Um, you know, this light blue denim color. And it is, ta-da! High-waisted Bauman denim. And oh my God, it's got its own belt to it. So you can take this belt off if you wanted to and just wear it without and put your own belt. Um, but this is so, so nice. I will do the same thing. I'll put cutouts. I'll try it on and then I'll put cutouts of it. Um, it's just got so much detail. Um, and this was um, $795 down from $1,600. So again, half price. It's amazing. So it's got such good detail. So this is the belt buckle. And these are the buttons, iconic Balmain buttons. And it's just got um, amazing little studs on the pockets here. The attention to detail is just amazing. So stud here and studs here on the pocket and also on the back pocket edges as well, the corners. Um, it's also got pleats as well. And I just think pleats on jeans um, just give it a really chic feel. So when you're looking at this, you can see the pleats here and here. I love this so much. Now I have, confession, unboxed this before and tried it on already, which is why I know that these fit me and these complement my body shape really, really well. Um, and the reason for that is because when you buy online, um, as a lot of you might already know, you only have 14 days to return it. Sometimes you have 30, but a lot of the time you only have 14. Um, and so given how busy I am, I don't usually have time to film within 14 days. And so I actually got this three weeks ago. <laughs> um, yeah, so Anyways, I have already tried this on and um, I know it suits me so, so much and I love it. And all right, guys, now, last but not least, I am going to unbox this big one here. And it is, ta-da, a beauty fridge. Um, yes, so <laughs> a lot of you are probably going, what the hell is a beauty fridge? All right. So to explain guys, um, a lot of the time, especially in summer, a lot of beauty products should be stored in an air controlled environment and also a temperature controlled environment. Now in Australia, it can get really, really hot. We've just had three days of 38 to 40 degree days. And so it can get really hot and that does affect the formulation and the chemicals um, in some of the skincare products as well as makeup as well. So having this fridge is going to be so good for me and I'm so excited. So I'm going to open it up just to show you guys um, how big it is. The packaging is super, super cute and I'm going to lift it. Oh, So there are a number of different colors as well. You can get white, you can get pink. I decided to get black because a lot of my appliances in my bathroom is black. So that'll go really well together. And here is the beauty fridge. <laughs> so it is this glossy black on the front and it's Ooh, it's anti-fingerprint, which is amazing. A lot of gloss products are not anti-fingerprint. Um, but this is the 
Uh, you can see how glossy it is. Look at that reflection. It's gorgeous. Um, white, obviously. And then when you open it, so it has a little shelf here that you can put your face masks. And then it's got two shelves, three shelves here, one, two, three on the bottom, that you can store all of your um, skincare products. Now, with your skincare products, if you have really tall ones, you can take the shelves out. Oh, I can't do it with one hand, but you can take the shelves out. Um, and so you can store really, really tall products. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's not very deep. So this actually is only about here. So it's not very deep, it's about halfway through. But again, you know, a lot of skincare products you do not need to have them cooled. For me, my, um, the only things that I'm putting in there are going to be my uh, sheet masks, my eye masks, and um, a couple of my serums, I think like my vitamin C, um, and a couple of beauty devices as well. So things like, um, I have eye cooling pads and also an ice pack as well, um, you know, cause I get headaches a lot. I, I look at a computer screen um, pretty much all day, every day. Um, and so my eyes get tired, so that's why I have cooling pads for my eyes. And also I get headaches sometimes as well. So ice packs, it's just gonna make my skincare experience so amazing. Um, so yeah. All right, guys, that's everything that I wanted to share with you guys. Thank you so much for sticking around. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. If you think that any of my items are crappy, if you don't agree with them. Um, so let me know, sound off in the comments below. Otherwise, um, uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.